Jay Chrysler. I work at Zamperla and I'm a roller coaster engineer extraordinaire. So we're here with the new lightning train. So can you tell us a little bit about it? I can. So this this particular ride, this is going to be Zamperla's first LSM ride, and it's going into uh, Vancouver, Canada. Um, it'll be opening in 2024, um, and it has our new seat design, our new chassis design. Uh, the LSMs uh, equipped on it. So we can see that underneath. You can see the LSM. Right. So each, each section has two rows of LSM. This chassis is has been engineered, so it's made out of an aluminum block. Uh, the other components of the chassis are aluminum too, as you can see the machine billet for weight savings and also to eliminate all welds to make it uh, more maintenance friendly to reduce any required NDTs and off seasons. Also what's uh, a key component uh, if you're uh, a roller coaster buff is there's a lot of emphasis on maintenance. If you notice, it's a simple bolted connection. So if anything goes wrong with the seat, you can simply unbolt the entire seat and replace it. So everything's a bolted connection. You can see there's a lot of space so the maintenance guys can work on it. It's the same thing with the bogies. So the bogies, there's no welds, they're all machine components. It's all bolted together, very open, easy to inspect. If something needs to be replaced, you can bolt this off. You know, it makes it a lot more uh, easier to work on, a lot more uh, maintenance friendly. The urethane wheels, um, and there's, it's there's surprising a lot of technology that goes into the, uh, the wheels and getting the, the lining thickness shape correct. So you have, uh, I'm assuming you know the components while going through, so you have the two running rails, the two guide wheels, and the two upstop wheels. And then you have the, the guide wheel housing, has a spring and uh, the bumper. That's basically a suspension system, you know, a dash pod, the spring, and that's how it works. So what that does is it compensates, uh, it keeps contact to the track, so the guide and side wheels won't have flat spots, and it uh, absorbs any minor de uh, defects in the track, so it makes the ride a little bit smoother. If you want to look at um, particular parts on, say, the seat design, what we do is you want to keep the hip is lower than the knee, so if you see there's a slight angle, you have the wings and the horn, and then if you bring the lap bar down, you have two points on top of the thigh. So if you have the hip lower than the knee and two touch points on the thigh, you have containment. So what we do is we're able to create a nice, comfortable seat while providing safe containment. There's two hydraulics. The reason why is for redundancy. So you have to have two to you know, be compliant to the standards. What the hydraulics does is it gives basically an infinite amount of adjustment. So you don't have to click it into a certain range. You can do it. And then when it leaves the station, they're locked. Yeah, it's a very comfortable train. Right. That's that. I mean, it's awesome. What uh, what speed is it capable it, of doing? This will go 100 kilometers an hour, so about a little more than 60 miles. Is it hour. able to go faster? Yeah, it's able to go faster. Yeah. Yes. It's just that's where the layout's set up for. Do so you have to do any modifications to the train if, if you were going faster? Uh, you may. You may have to do things like increase the wheel size. That's mm -hmm. what we do. So if you increase the wheel size, they'll change the, the overall dimensions of the bogey. But basically what we're designing, as you can see, it's modular. So it bolts on. So we could do a, a wider setup, three across, four across. You know, so it makes it like we have one design. You can uh, mix and match and have a lot of uh, variety in the product you can offer. Cool. I think that's pretty about it. Yeah. It's just, Sleek, nice, open design. It is. It's a really, really great design. Modular concept.